Aquarius, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. We have nothing is wasted. In fact, this is Aquarian energy, being able to look at things in a different way through a different lens and see the silver lining. This could also be finding the treasure in the trash heap, Aquarius. So some surprises ahead. In other words, being able to see the truth of the situation so that you see the honest value of it as opposed to getting kind of hoodwinked. Aquarius, this is a message for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. It is your message. Uh, this is a timeless message, so it comes to you whenever you're open and receptive to hearing it. That being said, there is a new Aquarius message every single week on Born Without Boundaries, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Um, if you are looking for a personal reading, I do do those. Please go to my website and book the service that is right for you, bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. The link is in the description box below, or you can just go there yourself. Um, Aquarius. Okay, we have something from the past that just popped out. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. Oh, that wanted to stay. There's a lot of past coming out. We have past, present, future. And we'll get to the future if nothing comes out. We'll get there. Okay, let's go. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. This is your energy reading. I hope you guys like the new setup. I was, I've just been off lately because I've been off this week, um, off schedule, because I have been moving. So we have a whole new, kind of a whole new spread, a whole new setup, and I hope you guys are loving it as much as I am. Let's go back. So we have nothing is wasted. Uh, 63, 6 plus 9, uh, 6 plus 3 equals 9. So something is about to finish, right? So now, now there's this sense of, okay, we're closing everything up. And in doing so, we're also discovering some hidden value of some sort. We have be fearless and bold with what you see and what you understand. Trust your judgment on this, Aquarius. This is a sense of ready to move forward with something that you are certain of. This is a new beginning. Um, being avant-garde, being independent, being entrepreneurial, all of these things. Nothing is wasted and be fearless and bold. And I also think that nothing is wasted as a little bit of economic as well. This sense of finding a way to use everything that you have to its maximum capacity. And then we have a rebirth is assured. So a rebirth is assured is awakening to possibilities. It is scorpionic energy. It is the resurrective side of a scorpionic energy. So it is very... It is very, um, it is very, it is very metamorphic. That's the word I was looking for. There's something coming back to life. There's something coming back online in your life. I think that you're making, your consciousness is bringing whatever this is into other people's consciousness. Let's go to the past and see what we've got there. We've got take time out. And we've got trust in divine detours. These are both pretty fierce energies. So trust in divine detours and take time out. This was in the past. So there was a gap. It's, it, in other words, there was a gap between where you are now and what you're doing. Um, there was a gap. There was a time when you didn't do it at all or you weren't with this person at all. There was, a, there was some sort of space. Um, and I... And I feel like 
okay, the, the past only comes out if it in fact is has caused what is going on now. So what the universe is trying to say is it was your meandering and exploration that actually while you were not focusing on doing what you're doing now that actually brought you into the ability to be able to focus and do what you are now so what does that mean it's interesting how life has brought you full circle it's interesting how almost like a prodigal son the, the story of the prodigal son how moving away from something was what actually brought you around to it but in such a so much more of a robust way in it's bigger now it's 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 a rebirth is assured it's metamorphosized to the 2.0 level it's it's something that it could not have been before you strayed away from it and this yes would absolutely include relationships so trust in divine detours you took time out and now you're saying now you're seeing that this wasn't wasted time that's the message that's coming through whatever roadmap or curves or or you know turnoffs you took it wasn't actually wasted because because of this is why everything is spilling out now and why you're able to you know yourself better you're more certain be fearless and bold is aries energy so you're willing and capable of initiating something and fighting for something that you believe in and then we also have a rebirth is it be assured so the good news is whatever you took a break from you really haven't lost it even though you may have thought you did or you may have thought it was gone forever it isn't it's now back but in a way where you can actually handle it understand it and where you're actually ready for it but it most certainly now has reawakened in your consciousness in your life somebody may have come back into your life recently or just you doing something or creating something that you thought you'd never go back to this is the time when you're actually ready for it this is the actual divine timing of it all so all of that time was actually not wasted at all because of the growth and education that happened while you were doing it. So while you were going through all this. So let's get into tarot. Okay. What is all this about? What what's what's up? I mean, please take it where it resonates, obviously Aquarius, but we need to get some nitty-gritty. Aquarius. So it is about happiness and fulfillment. There is family fulfillment here, feeling a great deal of joy and happiness. Like you belong here. Like finding the place, it's almost like finding the treasure, the pot of gold at the rainbow's end. You have found your rainbow. You have found your happiness. You have found where you belong. And this is a beautiful sort of ending to a long and meandering journey. Then we have the tower. So the tower is over. It's happened. There is anxiety afterward, though. Something is finished. It's over. But it's like it's it's like you're using the rubble from a total crash in order to be the foundation of what you are reconstructing. And then we have just divine timing with the high with the high priestess here. Um, knowledge and certainty of what you've been through because of what you've been through having those insights and then we have um it's almost like and then we have the three of swords but what i saw with this sort of trifecta here is suddenly there's an awareness of what can destroy you and perhaps before you were not aware of that but you are acutely aware of those things that were either self-destructive or were the triggers that really bought something down. So this is now infused with that wisdom, with the wisdom of having gone through seeing something crash and burn and, and having to figure out how to rebuild from that, but also knowing what breaks things, like what ruins things and not participating. You just have a consciousness of where crazy shit and stupid shit can lead and ultimately you are very conscious of that and aware of it and there is certainty in it it's like it grounds you 
It gives you a certainty that you would not have had before. You honestly did think that in some way something was all gone. I want to just clarify the Three of Swords, please. What is the Three of Swords? Clarify the Three of Swords, please. For Aquarius, please clarify the Three of Swords. We have Eight of Swords. So you were left, you were abandoned, or this involves somebody leaving you on, on your own, betraying you, or hoodwinking you. Remember that I said in the beginning of this reading, almost being hoodwinked, this sense of heartbreak, being left behind, being certain, it's almost like you're aware of the signs of that happening. And so you're making choices to protect yourself. Um, picking up the pieces of a horrible disappointment or a feeling. This is when you're able to deal with it though. Like this, this it's almost like you're reliving the past but from a position of strength where you can handle reliving the past, where you can actually look at this and feel like this is real, this happened to me, and now I can make it all better and make it okay. Like this is the fulfillment of something that got interrupted perhaps years ago and sent you off the path. I just feel like this is a situation, Aquarius, where you, you, you were so hurt you thought I'll never I'll never I don't want to go anywhere near this because it reminds me too much of these things and now it's like open doors and you're so happy to be here because you are ready you are completely ready to not only face whatever this experience was but to end it let it be completed and to make something out of the experience and take that rubble, like I said, and build out your new vision. It doesn't have any control or power over you anymore. This is really you regaining your, your personal power. Okay, Aquarius, let's get into this moon card. We do have a, we do have a new moon, a new moon in Pisces coming up. I'm sorry. What is it? I think it's the 8th or 9th. Ooh. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is really nice. This is really nice to hear. Um, I feel like this is just good news. Take it, right? Um, this is Capricornian energy. So there's been a lot of restriction or this had something to do with your father. Um, this, this had to do with being really, feeling really oppressed feeling really like i i can't do anything i'm stuck or i'm not allowed or like like that's done or this directly relates to a bad experience with your paternal figures and then we have confidence is your key to success you are past it now you're beyond it you are beyond where it can hurt you you're beyond where it can affect you. You're beyond where it has any power over you whatsoever. Because this is why we have Leo energy. You have a, a beautiful sense of self now. And a beautiful sense of confidence and strength and vision. And it's yours. And there's nobody else to answer to. And then we have way into the future. Which is interesting for a moon card. Because you know moon energy usually has to do with the past but let's get on to it hold your vision this is going to last well into the future because you know very well what your vision is there is a lot of certainty here and so it's casting out this sense of this sense of oh you have recreated you have recreated everything in the image that you always wanted it to be but never actually got a chance to experience so you took the bull by the horns and twisted that shit up not twisted in a bad way but dismantled it and made it everything you've always wanted it to be when in reality it was something that caused a lot of pain at first that's beautiful your vision this fixed moon this energy of of um holding steady and being certain and carrying your vision into the future i want to get a few more cards here what is this about 
what is this about? If any of you are curious about my decks, finally YouTube has a feature where I can actually tag the decks <laughs> and I tag them. I tag as many of them as YouTube allows me to, um, as, as are available to be tagged. And so it's very easy if you want to, to get a hold of any one of these decks, I will tag them in my video. It's that little shopping symbol right there that you can just go to. The waiting game. So this is still a little bit far out. It's like you've been waiting for a long time, but it's like it's still steadfast. You're going to stick with what you have been waiting for. You're going to stick with your vision. This is a sense of tick tock. It's been so long. I really feel that there's just total reconstruction of the future. Like nobody would have seen that you would have been capable of doing this, but you took whatever demon was chasing you and you dismantled it, rearranged it, and ultimately it's not that anymore. You have completely, you, you've completely um, conquered any curse or trauma and reconstructed it the waiting game and hold your vision so ultimately now you don't care how long it takes because you know that you're on the right path and this is um confirmation you are absolutely on the right path aquarius but i want to get more specifics can you please just be a little bit more specific going into the future what are we waiting for what Six of Wands, victory and success. It's almost like you're like, I'm not settling. I'm going to wait and I don't mind waiting until what I envision is the absolute reality in front of me. So this is the sense of you being so certain and you being correct because it's coming. We have Page of Pentacles. The advice then is to start small. And don't underestimate any even small opportunities little by little we have the wheel of fortune things will grow rapidly they'll grow quickly and it's a great time to plant those seeds this is um, a fortuitous time to begin a new to begin something new to plant the seeds uh, it's just it's you're planting it in very fertile soil because of it's like the volcano has erupted and all that beautiful those beautiful minerals are there just um just saturating the soil so plant your seed what you plant in the next even couple of months will absolutely grow to be very fortuitous and uh successful let's go to the extended guys i'll see you there